all of the Muslim artists that we brought were all approachable people. There was nobody who had that sort of sense of, I'm an artist and there's a separation between me and the audience or me and the students. Every one of them came on campus with the desire to get to know people and to really understand not just Moraine Valley, but the students. And that these artificial barriers like Muslim and Christian and whatever walls we put around people are artificial. That it's really about getting to know people as other human beings. And I think that that sense of expanding people's understanding of global culture and the fact that everyone deep down in their spirit is really the same and wants the same things, I think that's really the most important piece. Moraine Valley Community College sees a lot of people from the Middle East, of Muslim heritage and beyond. And I thought that this was a wonderful opportunity for communities to come together, learn about each other, even Muslims in the community to learn about other Muslim cultures from around the world. I was very fortunate to be asked to come and perform throughout the process of the grant. And then I was commissioned to actually co-write a play about Muslims and to show that Islam in general has been a part of the American fabric since before its inception even. And what a wonderful way to be able to do that by working with the theater department and also with the students here. So it really became this kind of very engaging, very communal type of project that allowed us to explore music, and just unearth histories that are not as commonly known. We hosted several events in the library, so panel discussions, visiting artists. The biggest thing for us was the inclusion of our One Book, One College program on the graphic novel Miss Marvel. As part of that, the author of the book, G. Willow Wilson, came and was our featured speaker. We always see ourselves in the library as one of the important intellectual spaces where conversations happen. And I think we saw the potential with Mosaics to really open up some really interesting and important conversations we should be having on our campus. Why don't we just say and decide that we're gonna be the generation that does something different? It's hard to pinpoint one particular area of success because when the artists came, it left such a huge impact on the hearts and souls of my students. Having the artists in the classroom really made the aims and the spirit of the Mosaics Project come to life for my students, and I could not be happier seeing their joy. In this climate of ours, this cultural context where there are so many misunderstandings, here was this opportunity to extend a hand of friendship out to people and to tell people, look, Muslims exist and they exist as human beings and there is a whole dimension to them. They're artists, they're musicians, they are writers. With all of the connections that have been made between Moraine Valley and the artists, for all the different lessons that have been taught, it's a different place, it's a different school because of the Mosaics Project. Transplants can cure some of the passion. Why does mind stay torn and half and minarets crying tears of absence? As the chair of the Community Outreach Committee, it was my job to gather our committee members and we would brainstorm ideas to reach out to the community, make lists of potential partners in the community, and then we would do just that. We hosted an information night, we reached out to various libraries, to local mosques, to community organizations. It was our way of doing research on how we can best reach and how we can best represent the greater Muslim American community. This was something new, not only for our community, but also for our students and those that support the college. And I think that overall, we did a phenomenal job raising awareness about Muslim American performers. And I think it was quite successful. One of the most important parts of this project for me was that I finally understood that I was not in this alone, that I had this giant team of impassioned people. And I discovered in this grant that it's easy to delegate when you have someone with passion about a project. One of the things that 
was most gratifying to me about this was the fact that everyone that became involved with this program, almost none of them walked away feeling like that they had done it because they had to do it. They did it because they wanted to and they continued to work because they were passionate about it and they were seeing the positive results.